I'd like to introduce our speakers this evening, the Bonds team, and that is, and I got to look this up, Building Opportunities Near Dayton Students. <laughs> it's a STEM organization. Uh, they take part in uh, robotics competitions, and uh, I see they even did the Lego stuff, so uh, a lot of fun. So. I'm going to allow you guys to introduce yourselves. So uh, we'll get on with the bonds team number 5811. Go ahead, please. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to um, listen to our presentation. Uh, we are the bonds robotics team, and bonds stands for bringing opportunities near Dayton students. Um, and we're all going to, my our team is going to go around saying our name. Uh, grade and what we do on the team. Uh, I'm Rhea. I'm in 11th grade and I'm on the marketing team. Um, I'm Nicole and um, I'm a senior and I'm the business captain. Uh, I'm Grace. I'm a senior. I'm the impact and marketing captain. I'm Guy. I'm a freshman and a more manufacturer. I'm Oliver. I'm a junior and I do programming. One before I'm, him, we couldn't hear. Uh, I'm Oliver. I, uh, I'm a junior, and I do programming. Well, we got you, Oliver. The guy before you, we couldn't hear. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think I joined. I think I joined just this year. <laughs> um, I'm Guy Fitch, and I'm a freshman, and I usually do like manufacturing and other stuff. I'm David, I'm a senior, and I do build. I'm Brian, I'm a senior, and I'm the co-captain of the team. And uh, we'd like to start our presentation. Okay, so um, just like Bria said, um, BOND stands for Bringing Opportunities Near Dayton Students. We're part of an orga organization called FIRST Robotics Competition. Uh, well, first, um, there's three um, levels, I guess, to FIRST. There's First, Lego League, which is for elementary um, school kids. And then there's um, First Tech, which is middle school and like high school. And then there's First Robotics, which is our team. We're a group of high school students. Um, this is our eighth year competing. Um, and we currently have 20 students from like 10 different uh, schools in the Dayton area. We're a community team. And our team is very student led. Um, we have student captains that direct the team during the off season um, and during the season. And um, we practice at the K-12 Art Gallery in downtown Dayton. Um, so we're in our off season right now, but during our competition season, we have nine weeks. Um, to build a robot, first 10, nine weeks to build a robot. We practice five days a week, Monday through Thursday and Saturday. Uh, during the weekdays, we were here from six to nine, so we're here for three hours. And then on Saturdays, it depends on what um, how, how much time uh, we use to build our robots. Um, so we basically have a game that we get every single year um, at the beginning of the week in January. And that's where we um, get the game and see what robots we're gonna build for the competition. Um, this is not really, oh, it's um, a lot of it is around the world. So you have teams around the world competing. Um, so we have one week to strategize. And then we have our different sub teams um, like build programming, electrical marketing to um, have the robot come together. We usually participate in one to two competitions. This year we're uh, competing in two and Bonds went to world championships in 2016, which was our rookie year. And then 2019, we went for the chairman's award, which is the impact award now. Um, and that's, an award where it focuses a lot more on community outreach more than winning the competition.
So this is a video of our season. This was from Jan this year of January through March. We went to one competition. We went to a competition called Miami Valley Regional. And that was in Cincinnati. And so this is like a season recap of our build season. So the first nine weeks, it show it showcases a lot of um, how we build the robot and then our competition. Octavia able to add another code. In the meantime, keeping up with the bonds, that's team number 5811. So our accomplishments back in 2016, when we started, we won the rookie all-star award, uh, which is the best team that was a first year, which let us compete at world's championships. Uh, we got the WP AFB award for supporting Lego league students. Uh, in 2017, we got that award again for supporting Lego league students. In 2018, we won the Entrepreneurship Award, the Imagery Award, and were regional regional finalists in our tournament. In 2019, we won the Industrial Design Award, the Chairman's Award, and competed at Worlds. Uh, and we also had four Dean's List finalists and one Dean's List winner. That is a award for specific students who are recommended by the team as being exemplar members of FIRST. So we had several wins for that. 
In 2022, we went to the off-season competition at WV Rocks. We were semi-finalists, and we won the Spread the Word Award. And just now in 2023, we at the Ohio State Championship, we got fifth or sixth place in playoffs and seventh seed alliance captain. Is that video? Uh, so this year, we are going to, the next game is called Crescendo. We don't know what it is, but we will right at the start of January. And when we'll learn what the game is, and we'll have from then on to competition time to work and build robots based off of the this year's specific special challenge. But right now, we're still in the off season where we meet one or two times a week for two to three hours. And we spend this time outreaching to kids and other teens at community events like the CJ STEM camp, boys and girls clubs, and others. We make sure to recruit new members for our team so we can keep it going, bring in new people. Uh, and we talk to businesses like you, interested in bonds, to support us. And sometimes we attend smaller competitions for that are hosted by other groups. And, of course, we fix up the shop, previous robots, and we prepare all of our tools, supplies, and everything for the next season. Um, bonds is important because it teaches technical and soft skills such as engineering, CAD, machining, programming, uh, public speaking, fundraising, um, as well as money management. Uh, it prepares students to handle real world issues and also encourages them uh, to pursue secondary education. And it connects students all across the Dayton area to come together. Um, you can help by uh, by donating money to help run and maintain this team because uh, it is ex it is expensive and it's only possible with your generosity. Um, mentor mentors are a key component of the team as they provide guidance and uh, expertise and. Yeah, and uh, materials, we we would also appreciate material donations um, on our wish list. And then uh, our machines at K-12 can only do so much and more advanced, more advanced machinery would be greatly appreciated, especially during the build season. And then uh, for marketing, anything to help the team out in the open would be great for us. Here are some computers and applications used by bonds. We have the build team, which these are the different teams. The build team are responsible for the design process, working in our shop, off of power tools, manufacturing parts. Use, we use, the build team uses computer-aided manufacturing or CAM, manufacturing the robot parts on a computer numerical control or CNC machine. I mean, we have one for um, plastic and one for aluminum. For the programming team, we, they are responsible for programming the robots we create and write thousands of lines of codes of Java every year. The electrical team is responsible for wiring our robots. This team works closely with the programming and build teams. Now we have the computer aid designer CAD team. The CAD team is responsible for our design process. Before building the robots, designers in the computer create using CAD software air for designing parts for robot and them on the computer before they are built using the CNC machines. The marketing team is responsible for keeping our website and social media up, as well as bringing binders and flyers by the team. The marketing team also does shirts, banners, and the sponsor panel on each year's robot. The business team is responsible for managing the budget of what we spend and, and works with the 
marketing team to create informational flyers and reports about the team? So this is our build shop or build shop. Yeah, our workshop. And we have our two CNC machines in the back. And then what? And then um, on the bottom left, we have our robot. You'll notice our red bumpers and then the robot on top. It's sitting on the robot cart, which we're building a new one this year. On the right side, you'll notice our tools. In the back, we have different things like table saws and then our banners at the back. Here are a couple more pictures. At the top, this is where we circle up every meeting. We talk about what we're going to do for the meeting and we also close up our meeting. On the bottom left is our programming room. We have our 3D printer, our TV, and then our laptops. And then on the right side, you'll notice more computers lined up. This is to help train our programming and our CAD team. So uh, here's a closer look at our two CNC machines. The left one is the X-Carve. It's more of a hobbyist style machine. It's, like, it's a lot easier to use compared to the Omeo. We use a computer to control this um, and yeah, and then on the right side is our Omeo. It's slightly more complicated to use, but very similar to the X-Carve. Here's the software we use. We use Mach 3, which is our CAM, CAM software. We can use this to program different holes and control the Omeo. And you're using it with, with the CAM. And this is taken from CAD, which should be on the next slide. Oh. No, so for the robot, pretty much every like every movement the robot makes and every time the robot has to do something that's controlled by the programming. Um, and so for our programming team, what we do is we basically are set, telling the robot every single thing it has to do in round, even when it's controlled by a, a, a controller uh, from a human player that has to be coded of like, okay, well, when we move this on the controller, it's going to tell the robot to move forward and that uh, requires all these processes. Um, and so we uh, we have our programming team make different subsystems that control different parts of the robot. Um, so here you can see like the actual physical components of the robot and how the uh, programming interacts with that. Uh, back here you can see this is the uh, uh, RoboRio, which is actually the computer that's on the robot that's running the code uh, that's processing what's happening. Here you have uh, the power distribution hub, which connects to all the motors uh, and the CAN buses. And the CAN buses are the motor controllers that basically tell the motor what to do. It takes the in like information from the RoboRio and it uh, goes and links up to every motor and tells it, you know, to run at this much power or to go for uh, this far. Yeah. Uh, then we have uh, our elect. Uh, we have our electrical team. The electrical team is responsible for like actually wiring and getting all the like hardware side of these components uh, done. Um, where the, whereas the uh, programming team is just telling uh, green actual code. Um, so yeah, that's there and they're making sure this power distribution hub is hooked up. This is a robot that we've kind of already uh, taken apart, but when we have fully put together the robots, these cords are a lot more organized to make sure that when we need to change things, when we need to edit things, that they're a lot easier to do. So this is our CAD software we use Onshape. In the past, we've used SolidWorks, but we've transfer transferred to Onshape because it's more accessible. This is our first step in designing a robot before we actually manufacture it. Um, you'll notice here, this is the robot we catted. This is the intake we had. So in this game, we had cones and cubes. So there were three sets of rollers and the first set up top held the cones and then the bottom set held the cubes. Here's a, a diagram that we take for pit binders. We use this to show judges at competitions, how we use CAD on our robot. Our marketing team works to get the word out about the team to people in the Dayton area. So we create our own website and we run it. Um, we also have many social media networks. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Um, and we work to run those and post them to get the word about, uh, about the team um, and create interest. So for the, um, we create, um, um, so we create newsletters for all um, the businesses that have sponsored our team. And so we use Google Docs for this. 
And so um, I basically write newsletters for the sponsors about what we did that um, that week. Uh, there's newsletters each week. And um, so it just showcases um, what we did and how we are going to move forward to this uh, from the season. Usually we write weekly newsletters during the uh, competition season. And then, yeah, our business and marketing team, we usually create flyers. This is one of our flyers um, for uh, people that want to know about our team. So it has a description about us. It has um, many pictures and then our sub different sub teams. And then it has when we practice and then where we practice. And then our social media should be right here. Um, for the t-shirts, we it's uh, we created or we designed it on a website where you could just um, get all the uh, designs and the sponsorship logos from a Google Drive and we basically transfer it to that website. We design it and then it helps us um, buy it and then ship it for us for competitions. The banners um, are also, we use Canva. Yeah, we use Canva and we have um, an editing software where we have um, the white backdrop backdrop of the sponsors. It gets rid of the backdrop and we use that to design our, um, to put the logos on the banners and then the banners are used, or the Canva is used to design the banners. Um, so for the business team, uh, I usually make um, budget reports or like a business plan for competition. Usually we have judges that come around. And so we present the business report and how we uh, financially maintain our team. We're a community team. So it's very, it's not like a school team where they get funding from a school. We get funding from different businesses and sponsors we talk to. Um, we also have a financial register that we um use it's you um we use it to like um we use it to see how much money we have left and for sponsors that do donate we end up putting how much they donated it's used on an excel so we have like our budget on an excel and it sees how much we used how much money we used it's Um, thank you for allowing us to present to you today. And um, I was wondering if you guys had any questions for us. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So I, I don't really have a question. I just I just noticed on your your logo, the other Bonds 5811 that came from the James Bond. I don't know if anybody noticed that. That's like the James Bond logo at the beginning of the movies. Um, so anybody here have any questions for these? Uh, what's, the, what's the CAD software you use? What CAD software do you guys use? We use Onshape. In the past, we've used SolidWorks. All right. What's uh what software do you do to you do you use to do like the Java programming? Do you use something like Eclipse, NetBeans, or VS Code? Yeah, we use VS Code uh to for Java. Um yeah. Okay, yeah, that's all I have to ask. <laughs> Anybody else got any questions for him? Anybody online, please have a question. <laughs> hey, Dave, uh, I got a comment. Go ahead. Um, one one lady I know is a CEO, and she went down to a pet uh, shelter, and she made the comment that the people there, all the volunteers taking care of the pets, didn't have any idea how they get funding or how much money they have. So doing the budgeting and, and tracking your funds is really useful and good learning to know because they had no idea how much 
Well, they're going to get food or money or she'll take care of the vets and stuff. So good job. Yeah, thank you. That's one of the things that uh, as volunteers, we try to make sure we're teaching, you know, not just the, you know, these like STEM skills, but also how to run the business and how to be able to uh, actually do these things in the real world. And what makes us and other teams like us different than the ones that are sponsored by schools. It's harder, but we learn a lot. Yeah, you're doing a good job putting a lot together so fast. Thank you. Great. Any other online question? The question that was asked was how much experience does one have to have before joining your team? None at all. <laughs> None at all. There's lots of jobs you can do and uh, you get taught basics. You just you find something you're interested in and ask someone who can help teach you. <laughs> A lot of all of our uh, when it started, it was just full of kids who did the Lego League. They learned a little bit about Legos uh, after doing it for four years. So, uh, two of them now work at SpaceX. So it's um, an amazing learning experience. So if you have any grandchildren that or junior high or high school that's interested. Uh, this team is is open to the public, so anyone can come down and join the team or come down to visit the team to see what it's all about as well. And they can contact uh, uh, Bonds by going to the website of uh, bonds5811.com and, and submit a uh, email from there. Seniors on the team? Is that what you're saying? Seniors from high school? Seniors from us? Junior high and high school. I think there is a couple people that were interested here, but they might be a little past high school. Yeah. But they could be a, they could be a mentor like myself, Mark Jim. Yeah. So you, you, there you go. You guys could be men. So for those that you don't recognize that voice, that's Mark Hamden, yeah. uh, one of our own uh, members, uh, is serving as a mentor to this team, and uh, we do appreciate that very much. Yeah. All right. Do we have any more questions here or online? Okay. None. Well, round of applause. We, we have we have one thing that the team does at the end of the night. What's that? Oh. Oh. So they, yeah, explain what that means. Uh, so at the end of every meeting, we usually close off with everyone saying what we did for the day. And then at the end, we'll always say bonds on bonds on three. Or I don't know how to say it. It's the yeah, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Uh, hands in the middle. <laughs> Once you uh, stop sharing so yeah, we can we see you. Share. Oh, oh yeah. It's not it's right there. Oh. It's okay. There we go. <laughs> put, put your hands in the middle. <laughs> All right. Bonds on three. One, two, three. Bonds, Bonds on, on three. three. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Appreciate you taking time to talk to us. It was a very good presentation. We all enjoyed it. Yes. Sir. Yes. What? Appreciate it. Nice.